3D printing on Etsy is really, really miserable because they don't really want us there. So we went ahead and built an alternative place for people to start selling 3D prints that is just way better and more optimized for it. So why does Etsy suck? Well, Etsy sort of sucks because number one, they nickel and dime you on fees. You have the sign up fee, you have the listing fee, you have advertising fees that are sometimes optional, sometimes not. And then of course you have the relisting fees again. And then of course you take the fees, taxes, post-processing things. And then they will also have you buy shipping labels at a slightly higher markup than what they're actually getting even because they're bulk sourcing. So all these kind of things to where Etsy is just milking you a lot. So first off, that's an issue, number one. Number two, they have you working for free a lot. Etsy, in order to maintain a star seller status, you need to respond to chats in 24 hours. The weekend is longer than 24 hours. And yet I can't contact Visa cards sometimes on the weekend, even though they have enough to maintain a call center, but an individual seller is supposed to answer on the weekend. And then in that, you also handle all your customer support, returns, sometimes Etsy takes returns and errors for them, sometimes it's on the seller, so all of that stuff is on you. You also have to figure out how to list your pages, work inside of Etsy's algorithm, all that kind of stuff. And on top of it, Etsy's terms of service say that you cannot sell licensed 3D models because they're models that other people have and are unoriginal, which is kind of dumb because you are allowed, you have a license to sell those parts. And in the context of the internet, they are really original. So the fact that they would want to hurt designers who now have commercial licensees who don't want to get the designs as readily and also hurt the sellers by saying your part's not original enough, you can't sell it even though over here we got somebody reselling whatever that they're getting from China. It's all sort of a bad experience. So we built portals. Portals let you upload a 3D model and have a 3D print for sale in less than a minute. And on top of that, you do not have any fees. It's totally free to start. You do not have to worry about listing and algorithms and stuff. You can just get a link and share it to your Instagram, which is the main way of getting good reach. Anyhow, make 10 TikToks. You don't have to print and ship the items anymore. When somebody orders orders from a portal, Slant 3D will automatically print that item and ship it straight to a customer for you. You do not have to do any support. Again, Slant 3D handles returns. We handle customer help. We handle tracking information. You do have to put in good product descriptions to describe what your item is, but that is, if you don't, people won't buy it. So that, I guess that is still on your side, but once it's done, it's done forever. Do good product descriptions. It's not an issue. So support, printing, shipping, and processing is all handled by us. And all you have to do is focus on designing an awesome product and learning who the audiences are who are interested in it, which you have to do for an Etsy store anyway. So it takes all of this guff and all of this risk and all of these policies about, we're gonna shut you down at some point in the future, all of that goes away so that you can focus on creating awesome products. Now you can just create a product, upload it, and it's for sale. And if anybody wants it, they can get a hold of it. It's a quick, easy way to find out if people are interested without having to do all this upfront work of setting up the store and then getting banned in the first minute because they think you're spam and all the rest of this stuff that makes Etsy so miserable. So if you're a 3D printing business, and there's one final benefit too. One of the worst things that can happen on Etsy is success because now you have to start building a giant print farm and fulfilling all these orders and taking time out of your real job and all all these other things to where it pulls you away from other stuff and can just make your life miserable, which is why so many Etsy stores just shut down because it turns into a burnout phase. With portals, you have a gigantic print farm supporting you. It's getting bigger. We have hundreds and thousands of machines that are making parts for designers every day in order to make sure that you don't have to deal with all that. You don't have to figure out the latest machine, find out where the material is coming from, unpack it, load them up, check my machines in the middle of the night, all of these things. You can just upload a model and then you're selling prints and everything else is taken care of for you because all that infrastructure is there. So this is why we made portals, to enable designers to design because that's where the value is. Anybody who makes an app for the iPhone didn't want to make the iPhone. They want to make the app. And the designs of 3D prints are the new applications in the future. So anybody who is designing those has the real value. And you can make so much more money because you are not putting all your labor and sweat and weekends into trying to fulfill a few orders on Etsy. And it's so much more valuable to have portals because whether you sell one or sell 10,000, you have the infrastructure to support you. So we built portals to help designers really get out there into the world. And if you like it and wanna try it out, go ahead and check out slantpod.com. Have a great day, everybody.